I got a call from a friend asking me how much I spent to give birth to my child in the United States of America and I said to myself oh okay most elder persons might be asking the same questions so I decided to make a video about that so that anyone who has such a question would also get an answer even if you don't know me so if you know me personally you would have already known by now that I gave birth to my child in the United States of America and I can tell you for free <laughs> giving birth to a child in the US without an insurance doesn't come cheap at all all no 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 it doesn't come cheap at all it could be very expensive but how did i navigate through this and that is what i'm going to be sharing with you in this video so dear thank you so much for tuning in today my name is dad if you already know me and if you're just seeing me for the first time today please do not leave this video without subscribing to this channel and you'll be doing me a favor and doing this channel a favor to take this channel to the next level thank you for doing that so dear how much does it cost to give birth to a child in the united states of america and this is just going to be my own personal experience as well as i'm just going to be chipping in a little bit of other people's experience that i know of not quite more but more of my own personal experience all right let's start from the beginning not from the very beginning but from somewhere around the beginning <laughs> okay so when i got to the u.s i started researching about giving birth to a child in the united states of america i started researching various hospitals i didn't have so much money i didn't have the whole money in the world i was not i was i'm wealthy in christ but i wasn't you know physically in cash i wasn't that buoyant so i had to cut my coat according to my available material as they say so i started researching um where to give birth cost of giving birth in the u.s hospitals cheapest hospitals most affordable hospitals in the united states of america so there are several options if you want to give birth in the u.s they have birthing birth attendants as in birthing centers where you can go have your child those centers they are not local like local centers they are well developed centers they have midwives there the only difference between giving birth in a birth center and giving birth in the hospital is that in the birth center you won't have a doctor a gynecologist available you only have a registered qualified midwife attending to you whereas giving birth in the hospital you will have the doctors the gynecologists the anesthesiologists the team of the medical team midwives and nurses you have the full medical team attending to you in the hospital and you stand a bit you could stand a better chance per se in the hospital if you develop complications whereas if you went to a birthing center you develop complications they don't have the amenities to take care of you emergencies like that they will need to send you to a more advanced setting like the hospital one good thing with the betting centers is that they have criteria they don't just take anybody they must have gone through your medical records and see that you're stable they usually take patients who are stable mothers i mean to say expectant mothers who are stable do not have many complications or um issues during pregnancy that could lead to complications complications during childbirth so they have their own standard and pro pro protocols they abide to so i i know i reached out to some birth centers asking they are quite affordable cheaper than giving birth in most hospitals but there are some hospitals that their prices are not very uh, much different from what you could get from a birthing center as just a preamble or just a little difference i can see or i observe with the birthing centers and uh the hospitals <laughs> all right so that being said now let's come to the main business so how much does it cost to give birth in the u.s all right so while i was researching i came across some mind-blowing shocking amounts of money that hospitals charge most hospitals in the u.s charge to give birth in the united states of america in fact first hand information a friend to a friend of mine who works as a midwife in a very prestigious hospital told me that their 
hospital fee that does not include the doctor's fee or that the gynecologist fee anesthesiologist and other fees to give birth in their own hospital the hospital fee alone is 12,000 US dollars yes you heard me how much is 12,000 US dollars in Nigeria quickly let me just check you can check it in your own currency but since I'm in Nigeria and I'm just going to check it in my Nigerian currency um 12,000 so 12,000 US dollars in Nigerian Naira is 17 million 700,000 Naira oh my god oh my god 17 million 700,000 Naira just to give just the hospital fee not including the gynecologist fee the anesthesiologist fee um the pediatrician fee that does not include that just the hospital fee 17 million seven hundred thousand you um nigerian naira and how much in pounds since i'm in the united kingdom let me just check how much in pounds so here i see that twelve thousand us dollars in pounds is nine thousand five hundred and some fractions of pounds just in nine thousand five hundred pounds that's the conversion of twelve thousand us dollars to pounds and i was like oh my god really <laughs> so i came across a couple of hospitals and their fee differed and all the hospitals do not charge the same amount of money they have their own fees so finally i was able to find this hospital that offered three thousand five hundred us dollars for their delivery fee included everything and a two night stay in the hospital post delivery of course if you stay beyond two nights you would have to pay a extra and this is for normal delivery normal delivery this does not include the fee for caesarean section caesarean section is almost double of this amount of money and 3500 us dollars was just for one baby that is a single delivery if you give birth to twin that is up about double this amount of money <laughs> oh my god this is crazy isn't it yeah it is <laughs> all right so that is the hospital fee now let's talk about the gynecologist fee so when you want to give birth in the u.s the first thing you need to do is to find a gynecologist that is to find a doctor who is going to take your delivery you can't just walk into the hospital and say i want to give birth in this hospital and just register and then on the day of your delivery you go and give birth no you need to find a doctor either it's a gynecologist and not every doctor a gynecologist who is going to handle your delivery so this doctor's responsibility is to just like we go for maternity care in nigeria or in whatever country you are the doctor's responsibility is to look after you from the start of your pregnancy pregnancy down to the end he will be the one to make sh making sure that you're healthy um just like maternity care you'll be going for doctor's visit until your delivery date is due you manage everything manage you all through your pregnancy so that's the first thing you do before you make before you find the hospital and the doctor or the gynecologist can also advise you on which hospital to go and deliver because they have different hospitals too that they take deliveries in so they know the hospitals depends on what you, your needs are what your uh what your requirements are and um, your what is specific to you they will be able to advise you on which hospital you should go they won't make the decision for you but they can just give you advice this hospital because they have different hospitals they go to so but me i went the other way around i had to pay my hospital i found the hospital first and they asked me in the hospital if i had a doctor and i said no i didn't have a doctor they said oh i was supposed to get a doctor first but the first, i don't know somehow the first lady refused to register me but somehow someone else came up that's the manager came up and then got me registered and referred me to a couple of doctors so the first doctor that I was referred to that i went to see <laughs> the doctor said that her fee was three thousand six hundred dollars that is a hundred dollar more than what the hospital charged me hmm i said okay that's fine all right i'm still going to keep looking and i kept looking and looking and with the help of some friends some people i came in contact with i was able to find this gynecologist who charged me two thousand four hundred dollars yes two thousand four hundred dollars that is i 
uh, yeah that's a, a significant difference from what i had i saw two different doctors the other one was two thousand three thousand six hundred the other one was three thousand five hundred they were cheap they were affordable like i know some doctors could go far higher than that but that was what i for me like i said my own personal experience that was what they charged me but the doctor i settled for charged me two thousand four hundred us dollars for his own doctor's fee and that included all of the services i was going to receive from him from all through my pregnancy until i've given birth to my child and that does not include if i give birth via cesarean section yeah cesarean de delivery is a different ball game altogether so i don't just want to go into that so i paid that for doctor's fee and then came the pediatrician fee so when you give birth after delivering the doctor's responsibility is just for you the doctor the gynecologist doesn't have any responsibility for your baby so after you deliver the pediatrician takes over the care of your child so like you know the pediatrician is an expert in care of children so he knows everything or she knows everything about the child so the pediatrician which was one of the cheapest i got i went for everything cheap but quality <laughs> so one of the most affordable pediatrician uh, i got uh, charged me 500 us dollars for just one visit yes just one visit he came looked at my child okay looked for jaundice looked for everything developmental milestone they took my child for some blood tests and every everything and that and that and that and that you know all of the checks to make sure that i had a normal baby my baby was okay and healthy and he charged me 500 us dollars for just one visit and there was something else i believe they were going to charge me for but i said no I refuse I don't want to pay me more money <laughs> and that was for hearing test yes they said they were going to do a hearing test for my child they wanted to take my child to do a hearing test to be sure that she hears I was like what hearing what <laughs> And I heard a story about a woman who said they were going to take her child for hearing test. She said, wait, let me show you that my child can hear. She went, opened the door and banged the door. The child started to say, you see? <laughs> <laughs> you see my child can hear i don't need a hearing test so what i heard that story before i gave birth so when they asked me for a hearing test i was like no i don't want any hearing test my child can hear and then they gave me some documents and papers to sign that i refused and i signed them boldly because i was sure that my baby could hear <laughs> and that was for the pediatrician and after the hospital stay we also had a one week visit with the pediatrician for developmental check and we paid a hundred dollars for that now anesthesiologist bill <laughs> you know don't blame me oh sincerely don't blame me i just wanted to give birth naturally just like my mom gave birth to me but there is one thing i i realized in the u.s they always preach this anesthesiologist pain-free delivery to you and what does that mean you get an anesthesiologist to administer anesthetics to you which helps you not to feel pains during delivery so you just feel like you don't feel anything your delivery your contractions are going on normally but you won't feel any pains until it is time for you you might even sleep off you might make video calls you might watch some videos live your normal life without feeling any pains until when it's your fully dilated the the gynecologist will come to you and say oh it's ready for you to push your baby out and then you push out your baby and that's it you don't feel any pains all through your delivery i was like no i don't want that i want to give birth normally like cora will be the <laughs> I want to give birth to them like my my mom gave birth to me but they just kept kept uh, they just kept coming to me give uh, anesthesiologist have you signed in for anesthesiologist I, I in fact i can't count how many times the doctor asked me about that while i was there but my dear the pain eh? <laughs> oh my god my mother you tried the pain was too much like the pain was too much i couldn't bear it <laughs> <laughs> the pain was really too much for oh, mothers in fact you you guys deserve as in mothers you guys deserve in fact you, you deserve more than what the world can offer sincerely we mothers we deserve more than what our husbands the our children more than what the world can offer it's 
it's really 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 a terrible pain like it was really really painful and i couldn't bear it anymore and i said please come and give it the anesthesia come and give it to me i finally got the anesthesia uh, and then when they sent the bill to me that was two thousand us dollars <laughs> Yes, that was 2000 US dollar anesthesiologist bill. And what else did I pay for? Mm. <laughs> oh, please, when you go to the US to give birth, do not pay for ambulance. So my water broke and then I called my aunt and she was panicked. She was not at home. I was home alone and I called the ambulance. She said, call the ambulance. I thought it was going to be free. <laughs> I called the ambulance and I called the ambulance and I said let me just go upstairs and shower and because I was cleaning I just said let me bend down to pick something I bent and picked it and my water broke so I called the ambulance after I was asked to call the ambulance doing what I was told I called the ambulance and then I said let me just go upstairs have a shower before the ambulance come I haven't even entered the shower ambulance was at my doorstep should I say two minutes? So up to two minutes, ambulance was at my doorstep. I was like, wow, this is serious. I had to just quickly ask them to wait for me. I showered quickly. I came out, carried my bag, and thank God everything was ready. And then I went to the hospital. Please, if your water breaks in the US, call, call a cab, call Uber, and get in the Uber. <laughs> don't mind me ambulance is safe because you never can tell what would happen while you're on your way transporting to the hospital yeah so that's it i believe i've covered everything hospital fee a gynecologist fee pediatrician fee uh in the hospital pediatrician fee after one week of your delivery and all these other two were not necessary like the ambulance fee that would have been omitted but um, if i hadn't got into the ambulance and the anesthesiologist fee that would have also been omitted i wouldn't have paid for that if i hadn't taken the anesthesia and yeah so everything i spent was ten thousand five hundred us dollars and my dear this was the most affordable so if I take out the uh, ambulance, let's say you're not going to go through an ambulance. Ambulance, did I say how much I was bid? $2,300, yes. <laughs> so let's say take out the ambulance fee, take out the anesthesiologist fee. Let's say you're not going to use any of that. So let's just add this. That's 6,400. If I take out the ambulance fee, anesthesiologist fee, if you didn't have to pay that, I pay 6,400. And my dear, this was the most affordable. Like I researched, if you say research, I was calling virtually every hospital to ask about how much they charge to give birth. I was calling virtually every hospital, going on every hospital's website. I really did tons of research to make sure that I get the most affordable amount and quality as well <clears throat> and to tell you i got quality service as in i got quality service i paid very little amounts very little i would say but i got quality service i could i can tell you that for free and mind you if you visit the a and e say you get any complications or you you start feeling pains or something comes up and uh, you develop a health challenge and you have to really see a doctor and you go to the a and e for the fact that you're registered to give birth in that hospital doesn't mean that your registration fee covers whatever care you receive in fact even if you don't receive any care so long as you stepped your foot into the hospital and something was done maybe consultation or whatsoever you have to pay <laughs> you have to pay and so just be mindful of that okay so that is it dear that is how much i spent i didn't spend okay now let's take a look at miss your flight ticket you have to have traveled from your country if you don't live yes if you don't live in the u.s if you live in the u.s and you have to give birth you don't have an insurance this is the likely amount you have to pay because you're already living in the united states of america but if you live outside the u.s and you want to give birth in the u.s you have to take into account your flight ticket uh to and fro you have to take into account accommodation if you don't have anybody to stay you don't have anyone any relative friend in the u.s you have to pay for accommodation isn't it airbnb or whatever you rent an ap apartment or a room or whatever you rent you have to take into account the cost of that and you have to take into account the cost of feeding yes the cost of feeding so you have to take that into account too so cost of feeding calculate all of this so me if i calculate everything i spent i would say i spent 
over 15,000 US dollars. Oh my God, Debbie. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sincerely, I would say I spent about over 15,000 US dollars or so just to give birth to one precious baby. Oh my god! <laughs> in the United States of America. So, yes, that's it. That's how much you could spend to give birth in the US. So, just take into account everything I've said and then you count your cost according to your available material if giving birth in the US if I'm talking about the reason why you want to give birth in the US I won't go into that today that might be in a different video why you want to give birth in why you should give birth in the US mm, I'm not mm, 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 mm. I might I don't know if I have to do that but I'm not trying to like advertise giving birth in the u.s no that's not what i'm trying to do but that might be another day i don't know if i'll do that but that might be another day but just take into account all of these and just count your coat according to your cut your coat i mean to say according to your available material and if that is what you would like to achieve i wish you all of the best i wish you all of the success i wish you all of the good god's blessings unto you for you to achieve all of your dreams so dear that is it for today if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do hit on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification and until i see you next time if you're looking for videos about uh, relocation abroad nursing um license application in the united states of america in canada in uk in in the united kingdom i've made videos about that if you're looking for scholarship i've made videos about that and life generally so please look in this channel you will see tons and tons of videos that could also help so thank you until i see you next time do take care of yourself and enjoy the rest of your day thank you and bye